Hey there guys, so a little bit behind on these, so I'm gonna have edited out through some of it or just like sped through kind of like this. Of course my bird, the literal second I press record, but we go forward because that's what we must do right now. So as you can see, my units have very, very quickly dwindled throughout the season. Um, I have been a very bad person and not been doing enough arena for the amount I spend, and so my units are getting very, very low. And so I'm gonna be using some 15% health boosts. Yeah. Um, so here we're up against, I believe this was the JA war. So I know and I'm using like a 15% boost against them, but as like harsh as it is, I guess, I wasn't too worried about any of my fights. There was only one fight I was slightly worried about, and I was still pretty confident in it, especially if I used just a proper boost. So for this fight, it's that Nimrod again. Uh, I think did I last time I might have taken this on the next node. Maybe. But this fight is just still, it's so fast. Like, look, every hit is just going to give me 50, 60 planetary mass with every single hit because of the armors, the power drain. Like, I'm already up at 500, so I am just want to... I actually get... Oh, that's right. I put on that regen boost here, and right after I applied it, I realized, wait, is Nimrod going to nullify that and then, like, turn it into a shock? I'm not shock immune. So I was really unsure about that, and he did. So it is definitely something I will not do again. It's not like it cost me here, because as I said, very, very fast fight. <laughs> Just throw a couple hits, drop a heavy. It's a really very, very casual fight. This was the fight I feel like I was the most concerned about. So that's why I'm putting on like that. And I think... Do I go for the advanced power boost, or do I go for the invulnerability? I was trying to decide which it was going to be. I probably should have thrown on the, uh, like, tanking SP3 one, the 33% off of SP3. That has come up in the loyalty store a lot this season, and typically it comes up very, very little. But I also wanted to use the Power Start one for both of my fights. So I was like, I was trying to decide if I wanted to use the Power Start one here and carry it over, or if using the inv Invol was going to be better. So, I technically don't have to use the heavies for this fight, is what I was hearing. But because I believe it's um, subterfuge, and it's like when you use a heavy, you get a fury. So every heavy, I'm guaranteed to pause my debuffs. And against Wong, you have to bait out a certain amount of heavies against him, which gives him a power flood so that way he doesn't get unstoppable, and he doesn't do a big direct burst to you. I should have tried to counter that heavy right there. And then right there, see, uh, I should have tried baiting out a couple more when he didn't have the unstoppable timer going. And then my strategy is just... When I can, I want to hit block. I want to hit bait heavies often, and then I want to hit block whenever I can and keeping my withers up. And I'm going to do a fairly good job at the this match. I, sh I don't think I have despair on for this fight, because he is healing 330 a tick, which is quite a bit. And with how many debuffs I have, I should be like stopping his healing. So that's why I don't think I actually have it on. And... His resist, I don't know if his resist is high or if I just was overestimating his damage. That SP2 did a ton, but the first SP2 I felt like did very, very little. I was a little bit worried at the start of the fight if this fight was going to take too long and I was going to have to use another boost for that uh, Sauron next, if I, anyway. But fortunately, you'll see he's just about done. Um, yeah. The ruptures are just putting in a lot of very, very consistent work to counteract that willpower healing with their just constant ticking, and just finish him off. Only a minute and a half fight. When I was in it, it felt a lot, a lot longer. It was kind of an interesting fight, if I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure quite the way... Oh, I did have one point in despair. That's actually really weird. I'm not sure quite the right way to, like, describe how that fight kind of, like, went, if that makes sense. Because, yeah, as I was saying, like, when it first started, I felt like I was doing very little damage. So this fight here, it has EMP mod. So I was told that we didn't really think about one part. I was told it's pretty much get my SP to as fast as I can without losing my buffs. And then I realized I got this placebo. And right here, so you see how I just cut my combo short? Because if that placebo buff triggers, I think I lose a bit of power from EMP mod. So I had to make sure I threw it very quick. I thought about stealing that thing for a second, but I didn't. Um, very, very tight war, just like last time. Not quite as tight 
as always with JA, it's a very, very tough war. It's a very, very good war every single time. Uh, they still are probably like one of the more fun alliances to face. I've talked about that before, where it's like some alliances like will run us close, but it doesn't feel as fun. So here's the second part for this video. I'm behind, so I'm going to be doing this because I'm still have been getting very, very short wars. And I said I was going to try to combine some short wars, so I'm going to do that right now to catch back up. Pardon me. So this is a fight I've taken a million times. I don't know. I just know I've taken this fight a ton of times on the channel. You can go back and watch. Every time I do it the same way and right at the start, I freak. Why do I have a poison? Why did I give myself the poison? He has a permanent fury. I'm taking 800 tick. I throw my SP2. I'm like, okay, okay. I'll be fine. I can just throw my SP3 and out of, I guess, a little bit of habit and then a touch of frazzled from looking at the poison... I start the heavy, I guess, and I'm also still smashing my SP3 as I'm holding in the heavy, but it gives him the priority on the SP1. It crits. Wait, right, that crit? I think. I already forgot. Um, it did almost all my health. I have two debuffs on me. He has the Fury, and I'm done. Now, should I have gone straight back in? No. No. Do I go straight back in because I don't want to have to reboost and I'm very very confident in this fight and I know that a single SP2 will do about half of his HP yes I know this SP2 will kill him and as long as I don't drop the heavy um, the SP3 will very easily kill if the SP2 for some reason doesn't and yes I've been told to not use heavy about a billion times within 10 minutes of this fight um, yeah as I said, I've taken this fight a ton. I was so, so confident going into it. I didn't even think about only putting on half suicides. It's just like, okay, suicide's on. I've got CGR and Nimrod. Super, super easy. What's this even like? What's the struggle here? It's just a void. And I just completely freaked out. And I just messed up the fight so, so poorly. So here, again, a fight I've done a fair amount of times. And I got really unlucky. I got back-to-back -back incinerate procs. So I'm still just going with my heavies, trying to parry as much as I can. I have 14 armors. Do a hit, throw my SP2, and again, unblockable specials are priority to unstoppable. As you see, he doesn't touch me before my 9k tick of shock kills him. Again, remember that Havoc fight where I did like 2k a tick? Yeah, I just did 9k a tick with that same Nimrod. Isn't that really weird? Crazy even. Sorry, I'm still obsessed with that Havoc fight. It was just so funny. Um, yeah, but that... So that Weapon X went really well. I have Nimrod, so I'm going to heal because, again, I was a little bit embarrassed from that um, C from that CGR death, so I was making sure nothing was going to happen. Um, not to, like, talk too much trash. I wasn't... We've lost to 4 Loki in the past. That was a while ago. But I wasn't too worried going into this war. Um... Yeah, I just wasn't. This apocalypse fight goes very, very fast. Again, this is oddly, and this war was all was three out of four fights I've taken a ton of times. That apocalypse, as I said, I wasn't too worried about. I've taken it a ton of, ton of times. I know my strategy. Get that first parry, four hits, remove the prowess, switch right back into armor, get another couple armors, and then just throw my SP2 right away. And it works every time. Yeah, um, I wasn't, like, some wars are, like, you know, you're very, like, stressed. Other wars, you're not. For Loki isn't, like, one of the wars I'm, like, stressed the most about. I think we were already up by, I think they'd already died a couple times at that point, and I wasn't, like, too panicked about that death because we've been having a very, very good season as an alliance. So, it's, it's fine. Not, it's fine, but... Yeah, it wasn't like I was I was worried. I'm always worried that my death will end up like being important. But this wasn't like T like JA last season where we go like 1-0 as the final score where you're like panicked about every single thing. We were already up a couple deaths. So this Gallon fight here is actually pretty cool. I wasn't sure exactly I wanted to take it. I knew I wanted to bait a lot of heavies and go for some intercepts, but I accidentally um run into her heavy there. <laughs> Again, a little bit frazzled probably still at this point. 
So I didn't think about it, but any time I hit her block, I actually gained planetary mass. And again, this was another fight. I wasn't sure what uh, three-minute boost I wanted to use, so I ended up not using any. Because against Penny, the three-minute boosts don't do the most for this, I feel like. Power start one, I need time to build up my mass. Uh, the regen, kind of like with that Nimrod. I remembered the Nimrod situation from last time. And I didn't want to go over bars of power and for her heal block to incinerate me a lot. So I was worried about that. So I just didn't go for it. I could have. And I didn't go for invuls. And right here, I needed to throw my SP2. But I was worried for some reason. So I don't. And so it doesn't kill her. So now I need to try to block, drop her shield and throw another special. Or drop a heavy and then throw a special. Which I probably could have countered her right there. But then right here... She has no more spider sense charges, so she can't auto block. I go for my SP2 and just finishes her off. Uh, outside of that void, it was a pretty, it was a fine war by me. It's just that void is a really, really ugly fight. Very, very dumb death. Um, I wanted to go two seasons back to back deathless, but doesn't seem to be in the books for me right now. Uh, as I said, seven to two, we were up a couple deaths. As I said, I think at that point. It's a pretty close war, actually. Like, that is a very, very close war. But luckily, my death didn't matter in the end. But it was a good war to them. Great war to JA and to Four Loki. Very, very fun week so far. I'm going to try to get out the next two wars that I'm behind on tomorrow. So look out for those, and I'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye.